Alright guys, come on, so welcome back to Liverpool Career Mode, episode 61. Uh, it's been a fucked up day, I've just seen the um, the PFA Play of the Year list and it's fucked up. But before I talk about that, I'm going to go into squad report because one of our legends called Moeed, I think that's his name, but you guys know me, I'm not very good at pronouncing names. Yeah, it is the squad report. Whoa, Rainer's gone down, what the fuck? It must be because of his age. But that's bullshit because Brad Friedel, he's in the form of his life and he's like fucking 67. But yeah, the uh, player of the year list, I think it's bullshit how Michael Carrick and um, Danny Welbeck, well, Danny Welbeck's in the young player of the year one. Um, I, I just found it bullshit how they're in there. Because let's be honest, even you Man United fans have to admit, well, some of you have admitted it on Twitter. And if you don't know my Twitter, it's the same as my uh, YouTube channel, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, do so. So yeah, let's be honest, Michael Carrick is nowhere near as good as players like Juan Mata, Suarez, um, Bale, even though Bale's a bit overrated. I mean, Bale's a good player, don't get me wrong, but... He's overrated by loads of people, like, oh, Bill, he's so fucking good. He's an extra Ronaldo, and that's just, I hate, I hate seeing stuff like that. I mean, even if you're a Spurs fan, even you have to admit, he's a bit overrated, Bill, but he's still a good player. I mean, no no one would turn down Bill. If Bill wanted to play for, if you was at Real Madrid and Bill wanted to play for you, he'd be like, yep, yeah, get on the fucking plane now. But like I said, if Danny Welbeck and Michael Carrick can get nominated, then fucking Jay Spearing can get nominated, and Michael Lowen. Nah, but seriously, I don't see how they're on there. And some of you will probably be thinking, who do I want to win it? Well, some of you on Twitter will know who I want to win. And that's Suarez or Matty, because I really like Matty. Even though he plays for Chelsea, he's just world-class Matty, he really is. I'd love to have him in my team. I'm still upset that we signed Stuart fucking Downing over um, Matty. I just can't get over it. I'm, I'm in tears. I just can't get over it. Why the fuck did Kenny Dalglish sign Stuart Downing over Juan Mata. I'm still in tears over it. I am. I just can't get over it. It's just so fucking stupid. But anyways, we've got Ajax next. We've got to beat them. But uh, make sure you let me know you want to win the player of the year because, uh, like I said, I want Suarez or Mata to win it because both players, Suarez and Mata, have carried their teams like since the start of the season. But Gareth Bale, he only started coming good when it was like the second half of the season. You need to be, if you want to win player of the year, you have to be good all year round so if Gareth Bale wins it it's fucking bullshit the winner should be picked on who's the best footballer and that for me is Suarez because and that, that's not just because I support Liverpool because some of you might think that oh it's because he supports Liverpool but it's not it's not all right. I'm being honest. like you guys know I hate Chelsea with a passion I really do I can't stand Chelsea or Man United but I'll stand here and say that um, the, the three people who should win it are um, either Suarez, Mata, or RVP, and I'm saying that, I, I'm always honest. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player getting his first crack at his old teammates. Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so you just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. The game today. Yeah, go on Ericsson, do his proud son. Well, is that how you look? <laughs> what the fuck? Number eight for Ajax, get in. Whoa, what the fuck's that? It's Andy Murray. Andy Murray's the referee, what's going on here? The fuck? He must have quit tennis. I don't blame you, mate. I don't blame you. You can get loads of money off Fergie, he'll pay you. Right, we want to win the Champions League, we want to dominate Europe, we want to dominate England, like the old Liverpool side used to do. I, I just remember that great side that Rafa built. It was uh, Mascarano in the middle with Gerard Alonso. Just, that was at once. Whoa, what the fuck was that? Back in 2008, that was easily the best midfield in Europe. That Gerard, Mascarano, and Alonso, oh, fucking hell. Just makes me sad how now we've got fucking John Dush over it. Oh, look at that skill from Walcott. Go on, Walcott. Oh, what the fuck was that? He's playing like he does for Arsenal. He can't finish his fucking dinner, him. Seriously. Oh, oh, he went in fucking half. Oh, I thought he saved that. Get in. Where's Alderweireld? Where's Alderweireld? What do you fucking call him? Ald Aldo, Aldo, I can't even fucking say it. Even in the last episode, a few people did laugh at that because I couldn't say that. Oh, what a fucking tramp goal that was. What was that guy doing there? 
Who's thinking about what he's going to do after the match? Going to fucking Sainsbury's or something about some milk? What the fuck was he playing out there? No, seriously, I'm going to need a new defender. I'm going to need Alderworld or Alder Wolf. Oh shit, I just gave a penalty where I just snap Asaidi. It would be Asaidi though, wouldn't it? It just would be. So look at this. Yeah. What the fuck? It looked like I got the ball there. Yeah, right, Asaidi. Oh shit, I've got to save this. I've got to save this. Where's he going? Oh, he went down the middle. Fuck you. That's what you get. Oh shit. Oh, go on. Oh, beautiful Rainer. Absolutely beautiful Rainer. He's just incredible on my career mode. Some some people are baffled as to how, how he's this good. I mean, I was baffled as well. I was going to sell him at one point, but then he just he went to knife. Somehow I don't understand how, but I think he's been taking steroids, you know. Bad up, blame him. Go on, Suarez. Oh, oh, he scored again. This keeper's shit. Hey, have it, keeper. Have this. I'm gonna be gaining your face. Whoa, we're all going gay now. What the fuck's Gerard doing in the net? What the fuck? Look at this. How did the keeper not save this? Hey, it took out. Whoa, Suarez's leg was glitching all over then. So look at this. His leg glitches in the ground. Look. Whoa, whoa. Fucking hell, he broke his leg, but then it went back in place. This keeper's shit. Oh shit! No, don't you dare! Oh, are you serious? Are you? Nah, scripted. That's that's bullshit. That. Look at this. He makes a tack. Are you serious? How does Rooney get Megs then? Hey, don't get Megs, but he goes. I'm doing what the fuck? Nah, that's bullshit. That he was meant to score then. I'm calling that. You know what I'm saying? It's the same bullshit over and over. That's bullshit that. We didn't deserve to fucking draw that game. No way. That was absolute bullshit. Anyway, it's an alright result. Oh yeah, I forgot. Um, who I want to win the young player of the, the year is Lukaku. The guy has been an absolute beast for West Brom. That was amazing business from West Brom, that, to get him on loan. But to the people that nominated Will Smith... How you doing? I mean, um, Welbeck, shit, I got that wrong. Sorry, Will Smith. Go home. I didn't mean you. Yeah, sorry about that. Good to see you. Yeah, we'll nominate well, Beck. This is all I've got to say to you. Sort your fucking life out, mate. I just don't understand how he got nominated when, let's be honest, well, Beck, he's, he's seen his stats. Actually, I'll put his stats up now for you. That's his stats for the whole season. He's been shit. I mean, he does put a shift in, I admit that. I like players that put a shift in, like Henderson and that. Players like that and bullshit. Because he puts a shift in as well. He, as a, there's a lot of people who don't like Wilshire. Uh, I, I, I don't mind Wilshire. I don't, I don't hate him, but I don't love him either. So, uh, But he, you have to admit, he puts a shift in, does Wilshire. Oh yeah, most of you legends told me to take the Germany job, and I will take that. I'll take that at the last minute, though, because I don't want to play any Germany matches at the moment, because I'm focused on the league, because we've got to win it. Because international... Management can be a bit of a distraction, so I'll accept it at the last minute. After this match, I'll talk about um, Liverpool versus Chelsea, because that's a big game. From the manager's point of view, Martin, it's not been acceptable. The way that they've been playing so far, we all thought that they'd be at the top of the table challenging, and uh, it's been a disappointment so far. What the fuck's he on about? Been a disappointment? Alan Smith, seriously, though. I, I can't stand Alan Smith, and he can't stand me, clearly, because he's... He wants to kill me, but um, I'd I'd rather have Gary Neville to be honest. I never thought I'd ever say this, but I'd rather have Gary Neville. All right, this is a league table. What the fuck's you know? We're second to daft bastard. Seriously, we're second to Man City. And if you see Man City's team on this, they've got Cavani, they've got Hummels. Just it's a great team. I wish Man City was like that in real life. I'd love to see them win the title back because it looks like they're not going to win it unfortunately but uh, they're going to win the FA Cup hopefully are you serious what a fucking I tell you what I don't have problems with goals like that against me 
What a goal! But as if da Damian, whatever his name is, will be playing for Sunderland. Seriously, look at this for a goal. Look at that. I don't have pro if you can score goals like that against me all day long, I don't care. It's the tap-ins that I fucking hate, but what a goal. Go on, Eriksson, hit it. Yes, Christian Eriksson. I, I absolutely love this lad. I really do. Not in a gay way, though, obviously, but, you know. I hope he signed to Liverpool in real life. Him and Aldo, yeah. I hope them two sign for us because brilliant players. Look at that. Oh, shit. They always, oh, seriously, I mean, it's got a great goal in the first half, but that goal is shit. Look at this. What was the matter? What's fucking Scale doing? Oh, my word. Scale. Go on, Coutinho. Yes, Coutinho. Look at that. Beautiful. Save that. Is that Mignolet goal? Because if it is, he's fucking shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, another draw. It's just one of those days, isn't it? Just one of those days where you can just keep drawing because of the bullshit on this game. But uh, it's all right, I suppose. Just got to make sure I turn them draws into wins. That's, that's how... Oh, Man United win titles. Right, I'm going to sim this Capital One Cup game. Oh, 1 4 0. Look at that. Oh, yeah, talk about Cardiff. They've been promoted, haven't they? We've got Norwich next. Yeah. I'm just so happy for Cardiff because we're going to see the legend that is Craig Bellamy. I absolutely love that guy. I absolutely love that guy. One of the reasons why I love him is he took a pay cut to go back to his, his uh, home club where he started which was Cardiff, and uh, took a massive pay cut to be with his family and stuff. And he's just so a legend. You'd never see Owen do that. I remember all them years he spent, Owen spent um, on the bench at Man United. He's, he's just a scumbag. That's the difference between players like Bellamy and Owen in that. Bellamy's got a heart, he cares about the team he plays for. He doesn't care about the money. That's what I love about Bellamy. He, everyone has to admit, Bellamy's a good guy. I, I really like him. And he says what he thinks as well. He's not like Downing who's like... Downing talks absolute bollocks in interviews. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but uh, Bellamy... If, if a team's shit, or if a player's shit, or, or if he's playing shit himself, he'll say it, he'll be like, yeah, I was shit. And that's what I love, Bellamy, he just says it how it is, and I just, I admire the guys, to such a legend, but I've got a thingy from Menez here. I've seen the provisional team for the next game. Alright, and I'll, I'll play then, Menez, I'll play if it'll shut you up. Right, so the Chelsea versus Liverpool game is at Anfield. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. This is one game, actually... Well, two games since we play them twice, of course. Well, this is one of those games, right, along with Man United, that we cannot lose. We can't. I'll never hear the end of it from, like, Chelsea fans like Sam Perry, Abdullen, loads of other legendary Chelsea fans who follow me on Twitter and stuff like that. Just Chelsea fans in general. I know a few Chelsea fans in real life. And uh, just, just can't lose to them. I can't. I just, I got, I tell you, like I said before, I turn into the Incredible Hulk when we play Chelsea or Man U, because it just makes me furious. I don't, I just hate them so much, but you know, I don't hate the fan. But uh, I hope Daniel Aga snaps Torres, and uh, we absolutely hammer Chelsea because that'll make my day. Oh, this run of form would have encouraged the manager. It's been really solid, and uh, no reason at all why he's not looking at another three points here. What the fuck's Alan Smith on about? He, he said he was criticising me last week and saying that I wasn't doing very well. Now he's saying I'm doing well. He's he's on fucking cocaine, he is, seriously. He's on cocaine. Whoa, the place disappeared then, what the fuck? Here's the table. Whoa, it's a seven point gap. I tell you what, I'd love it if Man City did that in real life, but it's, it's your rear round, isn't it? It's your rear round, and it's double the points. It's like 15, 14 points, something like that. Man U in front, but if it's Man City, I don't mind, but <sighs> Man City, you've let everyone down, you've let Chelsea fans down, you've let Liverpool fans down, you've let the whole world down, because we all let United. I'd love it if Rafa played Paulo Ferreira. Oh, what a goal, Christian Eriksen. He's just amazing, isn't he? What can't this kid do? What can he do? Look at this. Oh, now he can do flips. He can do flips as well. Oh, somersaults, what do you fucking call it? He's a gymnast now. Seriously. But he wears a fucking leotard at home, whatever you call it. That's a beautiful goal, that. Oh, what referee? Are you serious? 
Are you si Who the fuck's this Grosicki? Who the fuck is he? He's just come on the pitch. Someone's he just killed one of the fucking players and took his place. I never heard of Gross. Look at yourself, it's my player here. Look at that. Referee. Let's have a look at this. Referee. Referee rates my player. Look at that. Look at this. He rates my player. Gary Glitter will be proud of this. Look at this. Let's look at Ericsson. How do we go to Ericsson? Let's go all the way to Ericsson, where is he? There he is. Let's watch him get raped. Seriously, crown watch. He should be on crown watch, this cunt. Let's have a look at this. Look at that, he rapes him. Seriously, someone find this guy. Someone find him. If you see this guy, call fucking Nan Nan Nan. Look at him. Oh, he's a mean... Whoa, get away, it's not grass. He's a mean fucker, this guy. Call Nan Nan Nan. This is crown watch. We don't let dickheads get away with this. What's his name? What's his name? Salmon. You've been caught on camera. Go on, Suarez. Yes, Luis Suarez. He should, if he don't win the player of the year, it's fucking bullshit. Just watch Bill win it. He'll probably win it, and it's absolute bullshit. Suarez has been the best, in my opinion, and Mata. Both carried their teams. Both deserve it, in my opinion. I mean, Van Pers is good. But uh, he's just he's just a finisher, but Suarez has just got everything, he's, he's special. Same with Matt, he's a special player as well, but... I mean, I'm not saying RVP ain't special, but he's not on the same level as Suarez in my opinion. He's just a finisher, to be honest. But um, if Bale wins it, that's just bullshit. It is, it's a disgrace. Kenwin Jones has just come on for Norwich. What the fuck? Look at... That face looks familiar. What the fuck? He looks just like Lukaku. And the brothers? Yeah, seriously, sort the faces out. In real life, Lou Cackle looks fuck all like Kenwin Jones. Seriously, if if you didn't know anything about football and you played FIFA, you'd think that Lou Cackle and Jones are brothers. Imagine if there was brothers, I'd be fucking scared, seriously. More scary than the fucking Mitchell brothers, Phil Mitchell and Grant. Seen the oh, go on. Yes, whoa. Hey, dickhead, they're celebrating this, fate, this guy's first work. Luke Hackles and Lucky, yeah, oh, would it the post, wouldn't it? Get in, Ozil. Look at him taking my player out there. Seriously. Norwich, right? Dirty bastards on this game. Oh, what a touch from... Whoa! Okay, then. Don't just boot the ball at me in the bollocks. Oh, look at that skill from me. Oh, he's took two players on. Go on, Menes. Oh, what the fuck was that? He was in for them cameramen, then. Uh, that was a right. shit cross get in. What a win that is. What a win. 3 1. It's past Suarez. Didn't get in that trick. He loves getting that trick. past Norwich. But uh, Ericsson got a man of the match. Get in, son. So, yeah, I think we'll beat Chelsea. You know, fully Rafa puts out a shit team or something or tells them that they're all shit. I need to play more minutes than has been in the case lately. Alright, Sturridge, you'll get played. Don't worry, son. Actually, I'll put in the team now. We've got Celtic next, but uh, I might end the episode here. Yeah, I've played quite a few games. Oh, get in. Christian Eriksen got played a month. I didn't know Christian Eriksen was fucking bold. Oh, shit, that's Charlie Adam, isn't it? <laughs> Why the fuck does he show a picture of fucking Lucas, Andy, Carroll, and... I think he should just show a picture of Eriksen. What's going on there? Why is he showing a picture of shitty Charlie Adam? But anyways, guys, when we come back in the next episode, we'll be playing um, Celtic and then Tottenham. Good old Tottenham. Uh, anyways, hope you all have a great day and uh, see you later.